true that your grandfather's Marlon Brando? Is that little? I don't re well, I think so. He had like 49 bastard children, so <laughs> my, 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 my grandmother and him lived together. Oh, so the chances are quite high. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm not going to exhume him. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, but now, talk about letting people into your house. This is one of those stories which, I don't know, well, you'll tell me in a second. Uh, um, this is a Courtney you, story. Yes. Oh, God. Did you, uh, it's a, it's a late-night visitor of a royal variety. Oh, Prince Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. So why what is Why is it a big deal? Well, because he's never knocked on my door. I suppose not. <laughs> okay, so, it, yes, he came over at, like, 1 a.m. In L.A., yeah? Yeah. Uh, he came to, I guess, party on in L.A., and... Uh, Jason got, came over one night, about one in the morning, I was watching Magnolia in my onesie, and uh, I answered the gate, and it was him in A, he said. And he came in, and I had these uh, chipped glass mugs from Hay on Y, I go to flea markets in Wales, whatnot, with his mother on them, and I made him tea and made him drink it. <laughs> he was very nice, but you know what he had the balls to do? And this kind of annoyed me. He sat on my couch, he goes, so what do you do all day? Rich coming from him. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> you settled down now. Are you sort of, you know, working mother of one? Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't do drugs anymore. Because that, that'll lead to the wild that child stuff. That leads to the <laughs> taking off of the shirt. And now I'm too old to take off my shirt. Because really. you didn't take your shirt off a lot. I really did a lot. I used to play <laughs> topless. Because I'd see guys do it, and I just didn't realize. I didn't think it would be a big deal. I'd get sweaty, I'd get hot, and I'd take off my shirt and play guitar. No big deal. When was the last time you did it? Um... Consciously, or when I was out sick. <laughs> yeah, when, you, when Courtney was away. When I was away. <laughs> I can't remember. All the time. Where was the photo shoot when you had to run around naked outside in London? Do you remember that? That was, uh, that was about 2003. That was the beginning of Out Sick. Oh, okay. And then we be then just became the Pete Doherty of America for a little while. That was fun. It was fun. Now you went out, you, you went I to a Weatherspoon's pub. Is this true? You went to a Weatherspoon's no, pub. Oh, your damn tabloids are so weird. I don't so even know. So, the Pete Doherty, you were on the phone. No, you've never met him. No, I've never met well, him. How did the paper say you're going to a Weatherspoon's oh, and having a meal deal? They have been doing That was the joke, wasn't it? I liked it. But I got the joke. Um, some asshole planted it. You know, it's nonsense. Well, yeah, and even Kate Moss said to me, she's like, did you go visit Pete? And I'm like, yes, I love him. We made love. <laughs> we made love. <laughs> we made love. <laughs> All night. <laughs> <laughs> but do you find this with tabloids? Because I read a story about myself and nothing about it's true. Nothing. It's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. And then I turn over the page and go, oh, Courtney loves me, fucking Pete Doherty. I do. I do. <laughs>